he's going to call, or he's going to high school. So we got to get him into high school and that is tonight. So we are going to check this training out today at lunchtime versus this evening. So welcome, welcome. I am Jen Gear, and I have been in network marketing for a long time. I got into the leadership as soon as it had come out. So since 2006, I have been in uh, leadership, helping teams and I love to train. It's like one of my favorite things to do. So tonight's main topic is all about mailing. So first we want to celebrate our peeps and then we are going to talk all about mailing and some tips and tricks to make it work perfect for you. So first of all, let's celebrate Jennifer Sizemore and Dottie Metz. Happy January birthdays. And for those of you that do not know, everybody that is within paparazzi, meaning you're a paparazzi consultant, you will get a necklace during your birthday month. So I encourage you to order regularly anyway. That means at least 25 pieces a month, but also order during your birthday month and you will get that free necklace. Then we want to shout out to our anniversaries. We got Blanca, Carla, Karen, Christine, and Beth. Congratulations. Thank you so much for being part of the team because y'all are amazing. You are. And our top sales leaders, when you see this video, drop down below what your personal volume is so far during this month. Let us know where you at. So if you didn't know, these are some of Paparazzi's business incentives. Now, if you're part of my team, this is January's team incentive. Now, this means if you are part of our team, you can play along and get some back office credits uh, when you have new team members. Now, you can put this alongside Paparazzi's incentive of people joining your team. Personal volume, that means for every 50 PV you order during the month of January, you can win. Now make sure you're part of the group. Uh, it is Jewelry Box Warriors, and you can comment in there. Find the thread. It's under the pinned, pinned threaded area. That means the pinned comments. So Paparazzi's January 2023 incentive is free jewelry in the display, and you get this this super cool leather bag that is ginormous. And if you, if you order a kit during that month, you can get this. Sorry for the dogs. Can y'all hear my dogs? That is really loud. Murphy, thank you. That's one of the downfalls of having training at home. Hold on one second, Murphy. It is, it is. So, hey, <laughs> but snap a pic, post it, let people see it, that bag that you have, y'all. Let them see it, show it off. Now, right now going on in the Dominican, Paparazzi is doing their passport. If you look on Paparazzi's page or maybe some other consultants, you will see images. They are having fun. They just arrived yesterday. So it is so, so fun to go to. And then coming up is their Empower Me Pink, which starts in February, the beginning of February. Then you're going to see posts of that. I do hope that you are attending those if you can. This year, I am unable to. Darn it, but I will be next year for sure. Uh, team members, this in the month of December, we have Angela Ruth in Washington, so shout her out. We love to celebrate, and congrats to Retta for her new team member. Hello, Sandy. So today's training is all about mailing. Now, I try to keep these videos short and sweet so you can catch the replays, but we're about mailing tips. Now, the majority of things nowadays honestly are mailed. And sadly enough, lots of stores are closing around down in your local areas. So mailing is huge. You want to learn how you can utilize your business all over the United States, let alone all over the world. So we're going to talk all about shipping tips today. Now, if you got a bunch of jewelry, separating your jewelry is a must. Like, no joke. You cannot take five or six necklaces and put them all in a bag because they're going to get it all jumbled up. It's going to be a refrigerant mess, right? When you get that. So what I used to use is these little bags. I used to use little paper bags and you can see them on the screen as well, the cheetah print ones. Um, I used them for a long time, but what I had found is they take up space and they weigh more, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. You start learning things. So I am invested in these little clear these are just jewelry bags. You can buy them at big Walmart store. My favorite is nilecorp.com. And I usually order enough for a year, right? You can get free shipping if you order, I think $75 and they're super cheap, right? But they last you for a long time and they're clear. 
They weigh less. So when you're shipping, it costs you less and the bag costs less. And you use a smaller envelope instead of this bigger one, you can fit them in this one, right? So there's lots of perks to just learning about your business, right? When you first get started, you might not know. So these are just tips that have worked for me. But I love these little bags, right? I use them for everything. I have a ring size one. And then this is my favorite. It's a four or three by five is what this one is. And this one's four by six. These I use for bracelets or bigger necklaces. Um, everything I have, I separate by, I separate it out. So if I have rings, they each get their own bag. Um, when it comes to the urban wraps and stuff that does not tangle, I probably won't separate them. It just depends on the mood that day, right? But bubble mailers, this is my favorite. This is what, a three by six or four by six. One of my favorites. This one's a six by 10, just a little bit bigger. These are the ones I use dang near all the time. I do have a little bit bigger sizes and you can purchase those. Um, I used mailersusa.com for years, but I think they were, I don't know, during the um, pandemic, they shut down a little bit, but you can also buy them on Amazon, which I've done the last couple of times I've needed bubble mailers. When you buy in bigger bulk, hey, Retta, when you buy in bigger bulk, it is cheaper. So you're kind of planning out for your year, right? So put some money away for your business supplies. Now, down in the left-hand corner is a food scale. It's a basic scale. That is what I use to mail my packages. Um, you can buy them at any grocery store, Walmart stores, things like that. Uh, you can use packaging tape if you want to tape them closed. You can get those bags at Hobby Lobby as well. Yes, Sandy, yes. So you can buy the jewelry bags at any hobby store. Absolutely, Sandy's correct. Um, I use, you need a phone or a laptop in order to print your labels. Now, way back when I started, I would print my labels on my traditional printer and then I would tape them to the envelope. It took a long time and it, it's okay, okay? So uh, when you first get started out, print out a couple. Um, you can also buy labels that go into a traditional printer and print out and you can stick them on, or you can save your money and invest in a label maker. I did that about five years ago and I wished I would have did it 10 years ago because it is a time saver, it's a money saver um, and time is huge. Now you can do it from your phone or your computer, whatever works for you, but check it out. My favorite is the Rolo printer. And I, like I said, I think I've had it over five years and that bad boy works amazing. It's super quick. It's kind of like a receipt. It's not ink. So you don't have to replace ink like you would in a traditional printer. Um, it kind of burns it on. Like if you buy a receipt, you know, you go to the grocery store and it prints it out on a receipt. Um, let's see, Pirate Ship is my favorite because it's free. Um, and stamps.com. They do have a fee for stamps.com where you can mail out of. And Paparazzi's new premiere app, you can actually app, you can also ship out of that. I haven't tried that myself yet. I've used Pirate Ship for probably the last six, seven years, or maybe five to six years. Um, but there are multiple programs to ship your products. Uh, one tip I will tell you um, with using Pirate Ship, and it may be a difference between stamps.com, keep in mind, I, I haven't used stamps enough to understand all of it. I know that stamps has a fee, but, but I do know with Pirate Ship, keep track of your customers. If your customers haven't shopped in over a year, your, your, your customer's info won't stay in the system. You should always have a customer database somewhere else other than any other online thing. You should have a, a spreadsheet with all of your customers or some sort of CRM to keep track of your customers, their birthdays, things like that. So that's just a recommendation. It's a pro tip for you. Uh, so you have your customers just in case life happens and you don't do your business for six or seven months. And then you get on there and you want to pop on and you want to send Retta a present for her birthday or something. Um, and you can't find Retta's address. It would really stink. And it couldn't be a surprise anymore because then you'd have to message her and say, Retta, what's your address, right? So, so keep your customer database somewhere else, like something that you own. It's yours, like Excel or or something that's yours. That's just a pro tip. Um, yes, living from experience. So you want to start small, right? Now, I love kind of like these analogies. I love analogies. It's kind of fun. But this one here, I wanted to share with you because when you plant a seed, it's going to grow if you water it, right? So don't feel like when we do these trainings, if you're like, oh my gosh, I got to have this, 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 and this. You don't. You really don't. Uh, when I first started mailing out my packages, I stood in line at the post office for a long time. 
and I had handwritten everybody's address and then he weighs them and then he puts a sticker on and I spent hours there you know when you come in with 20 packages that was an exciting day 20 packages but um it just takes a little bit of learning and you get so better. And it's most things nowadays are pretty user-friendly that I, I always joked and said, my eight-year-old can do it. Well, my eight-year-old is almost 12 now and she could mail my packages back then. So you want to keep it simple, uh, start small and where you are. So if you're mailing out one or two packages a week or a month, start small, learn about the online stuff that you can print from home and just tape it on there. And then as your business grows, save some money to buy yourself a mailing label. And then as it grows from from there, invest in something else that will make your business easier. But don't feel like you have to go and spend a ton of money right now buying all these business supplies. Plant that seed, meaning start that little project and build your way up. Start where you are. If you're just starting today or with you just started last week, start where you are. Learn and see what everybody else is doing because you might be like, you might be tech savvy, man. You might be like, Jen, I already know all this. And I'd be like, yes, because it took me a long time to learn. And I, I am the learner that I screw up and then I learn. That's how I work. I try it. I screw up and then I learn, but that's, that's me. That's my personality, but I encourage everybody just to try and see what works for you. So let's see this. And speaking of trying something new is each week, we've done this about a couple years, I believe um, each sweet, each week, we want to try something to step outside your comfort zone. You might have, you might already do this. You might not. Uh, but each week, this is not required as always fine print, right? Uh, try some, try one of our weekly action steps to grow. Now this week is let us know three things that you want to learn this year. Now I post these inside our Facebook group, which is the jewelry box warriors. Anybody is welcome to join that group to learn together. And, uh, it was kind of neat reading, some of the people's comments, one was painting her fingernails better. One of them was how to relax more and have better health. And another one is, you know, how to learn how to do better Facebook lives. Mine was how to read. And I know you might giggle over that, but I, I struggle to read a actual physical book. Um, and I want to share with you one of the tips since we're speaking about how to do better is um, a tip that I learned the other day was to just mark off 10 pages and try to focus on just 10 pages a day and read just 10 pages and then you're done. And it really helped me a lot because I'm an audible, audible learner and a, a visual learner, but reading from a book, it's, it's a struggle for me. So let think about things that you would, you would like to learn this year. What is something that you could improve upon yourself? And it's not just because it's a new year thing. It's just what could you do? What are things that you want to do to be better at? You know, so that's this week's challenge. And I encourage you and hope you do try it out and see what you do. This week's letters are B and E. For those of you that don't know, we do this each week. This is a way to up your game even more. Retta said she did hers. Whoop, whoop, Retta. High five, girlfriend. Uh, this week's letters, though, are B and E. So what this means is to reach out each week to anybody that you know that the last name starts with a B, Brenda Blueberry. And you get on their social media, if they're on there, and comment on something Brenda Blueberry wrote or posted a picture. Um, comment on their post, give some hearts. That's the basic first step. The extra steps is to shoot them a personal message and say, Brenda Blueberry, I was thinking of you today. I just want you to know, I hope you have a glorious day. Or send her a phone call if she's somebody that you can call. Third step is snail mail. Send them a card in the mail that says, thank you for ordering from me. Do you know, on a, call, on a podcast I was on this morning said that 92% of people, business owners, never send thank you cards to their customers. Have you ever got a thank you card from Amazon? No. Have you ever got a thank you card from... I don't know, the bookstore down the street from you buying $50 in books last week? No, think about it. Snail mail is so huge now and people love getting happy mail. That's what I call it. I use a program called Send Out Cards. You can check it out if you want. Um, it's super fun or shoot me a message. You can do that. I use it too uh, alongside paparazzi is my main business. Now I do have a couple times left. They are filling up Thursday night. I've got a couple of Thursday. I got a couple things going on, but if you want a personal chat where we can get together, whether it's a coffee date or, um, a phone call, shoot me a message that is this week. 
um, on the 11th, which is tomorrow. And then Thursday, I just have just a little bit of time if you want to visit about your business and how I can help you. Next week, we're going to talk all about convention. Now, like I mentioned earlier today that they're on their passport trip next in the beginning of February, they're going to do EMP. Convention's going to be released really soon. And if that's something that somewhat interests you, I encourage you to put your money away and figure out what a flight is. I researched what a flight was yesterday on, you know, my town to Vegas. Um, they will hold it in Vegas. Again, I'm pretty 99.9% .9 sure, but um, figure out what a flight costs. Or if you're going to drive, start reaching out to people that you could ride with. Uh, so then you're planning ahead because if you plan it, you're going to do it. If you don't plan it, you're not going to do it. Just saying. We do have a YouTube channel, Jen Gear. If you want to search it on there, make sure you subscribe to it because I will post these videos on there. Um, and 